Hi everyone, I'm Yuto and today on Statue I'm going to show you how to make Akedashi tofu. It's one of my favourite ever tofu dishes, so let's get started. Start by draining a 300 grams pack of firm tofu, wrap it with kitchen paper and place it on a microwavable plate. We're going to microwave that for a minute and a half at 600 watt to evaporate some of the moisture. Take it out and let it cool until it's comfortable to touch, then cut it into 8 or 12 pieces. Start preheating a pot of oil to 170 degrees Celsius, which is about 340 Fahrenheit. While we wait, we're gonna prepare the coating station. In the first container, I've added 2 tablespoons of potato starch, 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and a generous pinch of salt. In the next container, add another 2 tablespoons of potato starch, and then sprinkle it with 1 teaspoon of water. Mix it with chopsticks to make small hailstones. This is going to make the tofu extra crispy. If you don't mind scrunching it with your hand, doing this will help you make consistent hailstones. Before you coat the tofu, make sure your oil is ready. If you coat the tofu too early, the flour is going to absorb the moisture and become soggy, so it's vital that you place it in the oil as soon as it's covered. Start by rolling it in the flour and starch mixture, then the hailstones. You'll need to press them down a bit to help them stick, then place it straight into the oil. Deep fry the tofu pieces for about 3 minutes or until lightly golden. Turn them halfway through to ensure even cooking. Try to avoid adding too many to the pot at a time as this will lower your oil temperature and could make the outside greasy. I'm cooking 8 pieces in 2 batches. Once they look like this, transfer them to a wire rack and let the excess oil drain off. While that's draining, let's make the sauce. Grab a saucepan and add 150ml of dashi stock, a tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of mirin, 1 teaspoon of sake, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Heat on medium and mix to dissolve that salt. Bring that to a boil and let it bubble for about 30 seconds before reducing the heat to a simmer. Finally, we're going to thicken it a bit. So mix 1 teaspoon of potato starch into 1 tablespoon of cold water until smooth. And pour it straight in. Continue to simmer until it's thickened to your liking. By making the sauce slightly thick, we can prevent the surface of tofu from becoming soggy. Okay, this looks good, so let's take it off the heat and dish up. Top the fried tofu with a small mountain of grated daikon radish for a refreshing kick, then drizzle on the sauce. and sprinkle with chopped green onions. I also like to make it a little bit spicy with a touch of steamy togarashi. And that's it, crispy and flavorful agedashi tofu. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to read more about this recipe, like alternative ingredients, please check out the post on my website. The link is on the screen now. I also have a free mobile app now where you can easily follow the steps during the actual cooking. The download link is in the description. Thanks again and I hope to see you in the next recipe.